Hey everyone, it's Bloom here, and welcome to my Let's Play per Persona 5 Royal. This is um, kind of strange, because when I describe this game, and I do love this game to be clear, it's gonna begin with me lavishing praise on it. Like, it might be my favorite Persona game for so many reasons. Because of how utterly fantastic the gameplay is, they took everything that was great about Persona 3 and 4, which already had fantastic gameplay, and expanded upon it and made it even better. And this game has so many strong points, definitely more strong points than weak ones. Um, the music, as you can hear, the graphics and art style, uh, as you can see here, uh, like the opening's fantastic. The art's fantastic. The voice acting is amazing. This game has some of the best dub performances I've ever heard in a video game. Um, so many things about this game are great. I would definitely say that it is one of the best RPGs from the last decade, for sure. But there's problems. Huge asterisk when I say this might be one of the best RPGs from the last decade. Um, and the main problem is that the narrative kind of betrays itself. And it's difficult to explain why without spoiling it. Um, I guess we'll get to it when we get to it. And the story never gets terrible, to be clear. Um, and Royal, which is the enhanced expanded version, which is what we're playing now, definitely fixes a lot of it, but not all of it. And it's just that this game is so close. It's so close to perfect that the weak points in the story and the character development really, really, really stand out. Either way, I am excited because this is going to be tons of fun. And this is going to be a 100% walkthrough. We're doing all the social links or confidants as they're called in this game. And we're playing on hard mode. So let's get started. We're gonna play in English. This story is a work of fiction. Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. Only those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. And if you say I do not agree, it just sends you back to the main screen. Or maybe it shuts the game down, I'm not sure. The contract has been sealed. The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. Leave him alone! 
this happens because you have no sense for aesthetics. Nobody asked you, Inari! Yeah! There he is! Just run! Get out of there! Okay, the enemy's focus is on him. Everyone remember where we're meeting up? Nope. Stop right you there! You have a gun in this game. Everyone does. I mean, <laughs> he's absolutely nowhere. They go? Not gonna look behind me, though. get away if you just keep fighting hide in the shadows and sneak past them when you see an opening hey are you sure he came in this way understood I will continue the search All right. now's your chance make a run for it How many of them are there? Hmm. Everything okay? The security level might rise if you take too much time. You wanna help then? I know, I know! I'm looking for another route! Just hang on! Oh, perfect timing! Joker, look up! Can you use that thing to just fly over there? They added this in Royal. No grappling hook before. All right. Go straight from there. Joker, stop! It's an enemy right near you. Even you can't take on this many. Huh? Joker, that weird reading from earlier is closing in on you too. I'll end this right now. Joker, it's her! She's the weird reading I've been getting! relied on you so much. 
That ends today. Let's do this, Senpai! since we last fought side by side. But this time, it's my turn to come to your aid, senpai. Now let's win this! So this is the new character. Whoa. She's so fun to watch. I think that's the last of them. I genuinely have no clue what just happened, but I take it you're okay? Wait, bad news. Enemy backup's headed your way. You need to book it right now. Please go. I'm going to make it harder for them to track you down. You still have something you need to do as a phantom thief, right? Then I won't stop you. Since I'm not a member of the phantom thieves, I'm in no position to interfere. However, please don't forget the promise we made, okay? Joker, you need to get out of there! Go, go, go! All right, let's go. Go up the stairs at the end of the path. Just a little more, so hang in there. to find some kid you have your teammate to thank for this you were sold out suspect confirmed cuff it Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Nice sound effect. Come on, cooperate. What? You want another shot? 
Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? So you're not that dumb. Which is good. Because we get to take as much time as we need! <coughs> Obstruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. The thing that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? I was enjoying it. Everything's hazy. I can't remember. Playing on hard. should know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. So if you get the bad ending, that's on you. It's basically what it says. I don't understand why this guy is being treated like... I mean, he's getting a lot of close-ups and stuff, but as far as I remember, he's just some random NPC. Okay, so this is a given name first. Um, and his canon name is, uh, Ren Amamiya. I really like that. Um, so yeah, given name and then family name. Ren Amamiya, that is my name. Uh, in the manga, I think it was called Akira Kurus. So that's another kind of canon name, but I think, uh, most people just use Ren Amamiya and I like that one better. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... Are you prosecutor Sai Nijima? I just got off the phone with your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Mm, I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Ah, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown, after all. We don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. So you'll only be allowed about 40 hours. I didn't expect it'd be you. You'll be answering my questions this time. <sighs> Those bastards. They should have disposed of that can properly. It seems you've been through a lot. Almost anything can happen here. And I can't stop them. That's why I need you to answer me honestly. I don't have much time either. What was your objective? Why did you cause such a major incident? I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. <laughs> True. There's no way I could be convinced of such a world just by reading the reports. It seems you're coherent. When and where did you find out about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, tell me your account of everything. Start from the very beginning.
Is this the drugs? That's what's going on. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> it's Mara's task machine. This is just what being a teenager is like. If you are ever confused about what to do or where to go next, look at to the upper right corner of the screen to view various hints. I've never really ridden the subway before, but we're going to be doing it a lot since we are in Tokyo. We get to explore all around Tokyo. Starting today, Sojiro Sakura will be, will be taking care of me. His house should be in the back streets of this residential area. Hugging the face in mine. Rotating the camera. Pretty self-explanatory. All sorts of people live in the city. Try listening to their conversations or press circle to talk to them. You might learn something new. And I have the button switched because that's how I like it. The, the Japanese layout, which I prefer, but I guess normally it would be X. Oh, I can just steal something if I want. I guess I'm not a thief. 
yet. to go. I've already gotten lost. Wait, where is it? I need to go to his house first. Hiding board face and mind. This is going off to a great start. I forgot the place that... Uh, not here. What was that? Hmm? You want to get to the residence at that address? It's in an alley a bit further back. Take a right after that apartment with the stairs. Oh, yeah. The nameplate here says Sakura. It looks like this might be Sojiro Sakura's house. Even after ringing the doorbell, it doesn't look like anyone will answer the door. Maybe he's gone out. Looks like no one's home. Oh yeah, Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, it belongs in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Hmm. Next, I need to take this package to... Hmm? Forgot where that was, because you never actually have to go over there. It looks like this place is Le Bonk. Frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oh, right. They did say that was today. Now we'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. It's none of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Uh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Yep, I'm the guy. That's my name. Uh-huh. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other, and, well, not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then. I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. 
Really now? It's the word that applies to you. I am probation. Your last until next spring, right? That's why you're gonna be here for the coming year. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place that'll accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. I'll be living here starting today. I should check out what's in here. It's the cardboard box sent from back home. It's full of clothes and daily necessities. I'll change into more comfortable clothes for now. Why did you wear your uniform here? What was the point of that? I guess I should clean the room while I'm organizing things. It's a table covered in dust. If I draw a line in the dust with the, my finger, it'll probably be really easy to see. Okay, it's right there. Why don't you test it out? There are all these unused household items lying here. It's not organized at all. I should start cleaning first. Late. It seems like I've been cleaning for a while. What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. You got that? How to advance time. Going to bed is a special action that will advance time. Time is limited. Think carefully about your schedule before you act. It's the cardboard box sent from back home and has some extra clothes. Uh, I guess I can get stuff from there later. Starting today, this is my room. Arrest, trial, criminal record. Damn brat! I'll sue! Still, I couldn't just let that go. <sighs> that day, I ended up going home late. I can hear a man and a woman arguing in the distance. I think they're just up ahead. How dare you cross me? Stop it! Let me go! No! Don't give me that shit. It looks like that drunk man is bothering that woman. She's in danger. What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble, huh? I'll, I'll call the police! Call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. No! Stop! Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car!
Hmm, it's that weird app that somehow ended up on my phone. The icon looks almost like an eye. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. Such a shame how they changed his voice, huh? So you come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Know your place, inmate! Who do you think you're talking to? Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Haha, <laughs> worry not. There is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? <laughs> you didn't decline, hmm. Very well, that is enough. <laughs> okay. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. 